Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using mixins in SCSS. Now, mixins basically allow you to define little snippets of CSS code and then reuse them throughout your CSS or your SCSS file. And they're different from variables because when you just have a variable, you're only storing one value. But when you have a mixin, you can store like a whole collection of CSS attributes. So imagine that I wanted to define a mixin for like a fancy border, right? So maybe we wanted to design this like CSS fancy border that looks really good. And then we could take that border and apply it to different attributes or different elements in our HTML. So I can create a mixin by using this at mixin tag. And then over here, I just want to type the name of the mixin. So we can just call this fancy border. And then in here we can define a bunch of CSS. So maybe we can give this a border, one pixel dashed black, and we can make also like a border radius of five pixels. So, you know, obviously your border can be more fancy than this, but in my case, this is what we'll use. And then I can actually take this code and I can use it inside of other uh, CSS tags. So I could say, for example, we'll give this border to our header, right? So inside this header, I can access this mixin by saying at include and then typing the name of the mixin. So fancy border. And what will happen now is this header will be given this fancy border. And you can see that it is over here. So also inside of this header, I could define whatever I wanted. So I could give this like a background color of yellow, you know, I could give this whatever other CSS code that I wanted, or I could even include other mixins and it'll all get rendered in this same element. So I could use this fancy border on, you know, any number of elements. So I could use it on my header. I could use it on my footer. I could use it on an article or a paragraph or whatever. It doesn't really matter. The point is that I can define all of the code for this fancy header in one place and then access it in multiple places throughout my SCSS file. And you can actually take these a step further so you can pass information into this fancy border. So I could actually have the header pass this fancy border some information and I can customize it depending on which element I was calling it from. So the way that we do that is just by making an open and closed parentheses and then you can define a variable in here. So this would be like the parameter that you want to have passed in and we can call this uh, actually, why don't we allow the person calling this to specify the size of the border and the color. So we can say size and we can give this a default size. So I'll just give this a default size of one pixel and we can also define a color. So we'll make the default color black. So now what I can do is come down here and inside of this fancy border, I can pass this information. So I could pass this a size, maybe we'll do like 10 pixels and we can make the border blue. So now when I refresh my page, we'll have a 10 pixel blue border. And actually don't forget, we have to include these variables in here. So we'll make this size and we'll make this color. So now everything should be wired up and we should get that border, which we do. So what's cool about this is I can include this fancy border in any number of CSS elements and I can control the way that it looks and the way that it's colored just by inserting certain parameters. And if I wanted to just use the default, I could just get rid of all the parameters and it'll use these default values up here. So that's a really cool way that you can control how these mixins look just by modifying some of the parameters that you pass into them. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.